Hey y'all, it's me again, Valerie. Welcome back to my yarn room. Yay! Y'all see this pretty pattern? Y'all want to learn how to do it? It's really, really easy. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Alright. Give me just a minute. Well, to y'all it could be a second. To me it'll be a minute. Um, <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And I'm going to make me a slip knot. Okay. Now, this pattern is done in multiples of six plus three the way I do it. Okay? So, I'm just going to do three sets of six. And my plus three. And I will meet you back when I get that done. But now, you make yours as long as you want it. Just so it's in multiples of six plus three. Okay, I'm back. I've got six, 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 plus my three. Okay. One of that plus three is a turning chain. And the other two are a double crochet on each end. So, if you don't want a chain one for a turning chain you want it longer uh, chain accordingly to how you want it but I don't like that chain three on the end so I just chain one I adjust just about every single pattern for that so there's my Double crochet on the end. Okay? So, I'm going to skip one, two, and that third one right there. I'm going to start working a shell. But it's going to be a split shell. So, whoa. I just slipped right out of my yarn. So, it's going to be three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. Okay. Now, I got to chain my two. And I'll be back when I get my other three double crochets in the same stitch. So in that one stitch right there, you do three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. Be right back. Okay. Now, to start the Jacob's Ladder part of this pattern, when you get done with that shell, then you want to chain ten. Because you want a big loop. Okay. So what you do now is. You come down here. To that last double crochet. That you made for that shell. And right at the top of it. Going sideways. We go through. That double crochet. And that double crochet. Okay. And we're going to grab our yarn. And pull it through. And we're just going to slip stitch right there okay that gives us our loop for the beginning of our Jacob's ladder okay then we're going to 
yarn over. We're not chaining. And we're going to skip six. Or go into the sixth one. Right there is that first one. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to put another one of them split shells. So, in that one stitch, we're going to do three doubles, chain two, and three doubles. All in the same stitch. If I can do it. I got fumble fingers today. I'll be right back when I get three more doubles in that one stitch. Okay, I got that split shell there done. Now, I'm going to put another one of these chain 10 picos. Did y'all count with me? <laughs> okay, so I got all 10. I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to go in that one, and in that one, draw up a loop, and I'm going to, if I can, slip stitch. There we go. Okay, now. We are going to yarn over, and right there's the first one. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to work a split shell. Which is three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. On this split shell, that's what it is. This might be a two part video. Because this is a pretty in-depth pattern. And I only have 30 minutes to do it in. <laughs> okay. And then we're back here at the end. So, we skip a couple. And we're going to put a double crochet right there in the last one. And I'm going to chain one. Alright. Round one is complete. Round two. We're going to turn. We're going to start off with a double crochet right here. Okay. If I can get my hook in there. I don't think I do like this hook. That point is way too sharp. Okay. And then we're going to go jump right over here. We're not chaining. We're going to jump right over here to that chain two in the top of that shell. And we're going to work a split shell. Okay. Which, for this pattern, the split shell is three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. And if you got to, pull it over a little bit. Because, I mean, you are going six stitches into a chain, too.
Okay. Now, get my tail out of the way. All right, I said that this was the beginning of the Jacob's Ladder, okay? Which means that this row is going to be different. Oh, I apologize. I did not mean to hit that camera. Okay, the row that we're doing right now, this is the repeat row. It is a one-row repeat. After you do that first row and make them chain 10 picos right there, Every single row after that is going to be the row we're working right now. Okay, so after you do your split shell right there, you're going to chain 12. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. And then you're going to yarn over and hold it so it don't slip on you. Okay. You're not going to go into that pico. You're going to go right here into the top of that, that next split shell. And you're going to work a split shell. The three double crochets chain two, three double crochets. So, it'll look like that. And it's, it's going to curl down on you. It's supposed to. That's normal. Alright, so. When you get done with this split shell, you're going to come and you're going to do the chain 12. And then start right here doing a split shell. So you're just jumping over the top of that chain 10 pico. And then when you get done with that, you're not chaining. And you can go right into the top of that double crochet right there. And you're going to put a double crochet. Now, when I get done with that, I'm not going to chain one yet. I'm going to add my my white the same way I did in my last video and I'm gonna change color and I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna repeat row two two more times and I'll be right back when I get done with that All right, just in case you forgot how to change color, I'm going to show you again. All right, I finished my double crochet right there in the top of that double crochet, but I didn't chain yet, and I'm just going to bring the white through it, and I'm going to grab that blue, and I'm going to just tighten it down. Okay? Then, I'm going to grab my working yarn, of my white and I'm gonna chain one and I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna go into that and do a double crochet and then I'll jump right here to the top of this split shell and I'll do three double crochets chain two, three double crochets, chain 12, and go over here into this one, and three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, chain 12, come right here to this one, three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, and go right here and put a double crochet. And I'm going to do that two times with the white because I've got two rows of the blue. I'm going to do two rows of the white. And I will meet you right back. Okay, I'm back. I thought I was going to do a couple more rows, but I'm not. 
Okay, I'm going to show y'all how to work the Jacob's Ladder part. Because y'all know how to do this, and I've told you how to do this. And Okay, you take your crochet hook. In the 10 chain pico. That's a mouthful. And you get this one right here. And you bring it through. And then you go in this one. And you get this one. And bring it through. Now let's do it again over here. Get this one. Bring this one through. And you would think you could just do it this way, but no, this one will be twisted. So you got to take it out and go in a different direction and get this one and pull it through. Okay. Now. I don't know how anybody else does it, but I'm going to show you how I do it to close it off so that your thing don't come apart. And somebody's probably got a better idea on how to do this than I do. Okay. Now. The way I do it is, I put a double crochet right here. Okay. And then, I gotta jump over here to this. So, I chain three. Because there's three stitches right there. So, and then on the top of this, I put a single crochet. Okay. Then I chain three. And I come right here. And I put a single crochet. And then, I chain three again, put a single here, chain three again, and what I'm doing here is I'm going in that one and I'm getting that blue one and doing a single crochet around it I don't know you might have a different way of doing it if you do good that's the only way I know how to do it but, anyway, then you chain three, go in here, chain three, and do a double crochet in your double crochet. But I think that's a beautiful pattern for a baby blanket. Matter of fact, I'm actually in the process of doing a baby blanket in three different colors. Um, white pink, and a pink and purple variegated um, for an upcoming baby shower. <laughs> all right. That's going to be all for today. So, um, I'll meet you back here in the next one for another grand adventure right here in Val's Yarn Room. Do something nice for somebody. And, uh, 
love one another. If you haven't already, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button. And now, uh, when you do, give us a thumbs up like. That lets YouTube and me know if you like me or not. Which, like I've said before, I hope you do. I'm trying to give it everything I got. And, um... Share if you can. And... Leave me a comment. If you got a better way or a different way of closing this off, let me know in the comments. Never know. You might teach me something. I have no problem with that. You're never too old to learn something new. That's what my mama used to always tell me. And I believe in it. Or if you've got a particular stitch pattern that you want to learn how to do, let me know. If I don't know how to do it, I'll figure it out. You never know. It could be a stitch pattern that I ain't never heard of. <laughs> All right, well, that's going to be all for today. So, see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.